Today I'm going to attempt to replace the wiper arm on my Porsche 718. Um, I broke the wiper at this point right here. You're probably wondering, how did you break the windshield wiper? I'll show you in a second. But um, in the process, I'll also have to show you how to put on the new windshield wiper because the wiper arm doesn't come with the new windshield wiper. So I gotta take the windshield wiper from the old windshield wiper arm and put it on the new arm. Now you may see in some of the other videos where they use the wiper removal tool. I'm going to attempt to remove the wiper arm without using the tool. And you'll probably say, well, isn't the arm already removed? No, it's not. I, I, it actually snapped off. You see, I was cleaning right under uh, the front trunk area. And I was also cleaning the windows at the same time. So I lifted up one of the windshield wipers and the windshield wiper came out under the trunk and I left it up when I closed the trunk. When I closed it, it uh, snapped right off. Okay, now this is the easy part. And if you're watching this video and all you need to do is change your windshield wipers, not the whole arm, this is all you gotta do. There's a button right here. You just push that button in. It slides right out. So then I grab the new one. Slide it back in. And uh, so here's the old, see the old one was broke right here. I'll probably keep this, who, who knows I may need a part. Probably the only thing salvageable in there is that little spring, but I'm gonna keep it anyway. Okay, so I, I took a blanket and folded it in half to protect the paint on this side of the car because my biggest worry is I don't want to scratch the paint and um, I don't think I can really do any damage to the windshield or this plastic here, but the paint right here on the front corner panel is what I was worried about. So I got it covered pretty well. Okay, so my first thought was just to grab some uh, needle nose vice grips and get it under there and just try to maneuver it off. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Someone did say you hit it with the hammer. <laughs> it's just not working. Maybe I need to grab it from this end. So I'm gonna get a little bit bigger vice grips and get it this way. Damn, that's in there tight. Let me try this again. I might have to get that tool. That shit is on tight. So you probably know where this is going. I think I'm gonna have to go get that tool. Let me give it one more try. There it goes. If you didn't catch that, what I ended up doing was taking the screwdriver and you know, once I had the nut, well, I had the nut, if you didn't, if you didn't notice, um, I had the nut on earlier because someone said if you put that nut on, you could shove a screwdriver under it and kind of lift it up that way. But once I took that nut off, all the way off, and I just put the screwdriver in between the area where the uh, windshield wiper's on in the hole, there's a little tiny bit of space, so I just got in there a little and hammered it and then it popped right out, so. So it looks like the easiest way to, to maneuver this in here is to flip the windshield wiper up and put it under the hood and then it just fits right in there easily, which is actually exactly how I broke it. All right, so the last thing you want to do is put the little cap back on. Shit. Put that cap back on and there you go. Make sure you close it. And if you slam the trunk, all the Porsche people are gonna yell at you. You gotta put it down and then Press it down lightly with your hand because it's made of a very light aluminum and if you slam it, you might break it. Bam! <laughs> 